everyone. I'm Michelle Carter, Director of Educational Content and Programs for Shape America. If you want some good advice about health and physical education, you're going to love Toy Talk Tuesdays, especially our theme for this year. I'm talking about our Teachers of the Year. Shape America Teachers of the Year, they represent the best health education, physical education, adapted physical education, and dance education teachers across the United States. And now you can learn from them on Toy Talk Tuesdays. And for this school year, we're giving you toys top tips. Our toys are sharing their best tips on different topics to help you. So make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. And if there's a topic or resource you'd like to see in the future, just leave a comment. And if you want to become a teacher of the year, check out the link below. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, and thank you for taking time to join me for Shape America's Toy Talk Tuesday. That's me, Elizabeth Bolger, and I'm honored to be named the 2021 Shape America Elementary Physical Education Teacher of the Year for the Eastern District. I've been teaching for a total of 20 years and am currently working at Lincoln Avenue Elementary School in Sable School District. Wellness is the act of practicing healthy habits on a daily basis to attain better physical and mental health outcomes so that instead of just surviving, our students are thriving. And my hope for this Toy Talk is to get your creative juices flowing and show you different ways to add different dimensions of wellness into your health and physical education classes. My friend, Lori Buffrello, showed me a great template she was using for her students. She had labeled five of the dimensions of wellness and offered her students activities to build healthy habits in each of these dimensions. Well, I was so inspired by this that I created my own. It is so important to teach our students about all the dimensions of wellness. And since my physical education classes are only 40 minutes long, I had to get creative and come up with games that address multiple dimensions of wellness at the same time. This was great for time management, but also to teach the students how the dimensions of wellness are all interconnected and how one dimension builds on another and how important it is to find balance between these dimensions. The first game under the physical wellness column is Funny Face Fitness. Mike Giancola from Phys Ed Depot is the one who inspired me for this game. In this game, the students will partner up and stand back to back. On go, the students will have to pick one of the three facial expressions and turn around and present it to their partner. Okay, so say I do surprise and my partner does angry, then I'm gonna do the exercise. Surprise plus angry equals the exercise. What I like about this game is it gets the students physically active and also it opens up the doors to speaking about emotions. Next, I can build upon these emotions by using my coping skills choice board. Students will be given a coping wheel. Students will look at this chart and they will click on one of the coping skills they feel would work best and help them calm down next time they were upset. For example, I'll click on snuggle a pet. They will follow along with the exercises for 30 seconds and then click the home button. This will take them back to the beginning and now they can pick a new coping skill that they feel would work best for them the next time they are upset. One of the games I made for emotional wellness is this or that self-esteem edition. I made a physically active game where the students had to pick the answer that corresponded with the question. And it all had to do with self-esteem. Let me show you. In this one, it says, which one is self-esteem? Is it this? Self-esteem means having confidence in yourself and your ability or that. Self-esteem means feeling unsure about your abilities and you doubt your decisions. This allows me and my students to have a conversation about this and also keeps them physically active because then they have to do the exercise that corresponds with their choice. Another activity I made for emotional wellness is my mindful moments. Every day while I'm taking attendance, I project this slide to the wall. I teach my students multiple mindfulness techniques. And in time, the students will pick the activity that best corresponds to their current needs. For example, maybe the students are in need of being calm and centered or feeling empowered and energized, then they would do the power breath. Maybe the students just sat for a long time before my class 
and need to just relieve themselves from that seated position that they held for so long, then they could do the corkscrew. Maybe they want to stand and stretch and balance and strengthen themselves. They can do the eagle pose. Or maybe they want to loosen up and relieve their stress and improve their mood. They can do the washing machine. Or maybe they just want to relax, calm their nerves down, and be mindful of the present moment. And in that case, they would do it the picture trick. All those activities I just listed can be found at the yogaforclassroom.com. There are a couple of great games I use for social wellness. Let me show you. I found this online. This is the emotions candy game. And if you take a look right here, uh, what I do is when the students are partner up or if they do an AMRAP, instead of just resting, they can rest and chat. They reach their hand in and grab a bean bag. And according to the color of the bean bag that they grabbed, they have to describe a feeling. So for example, if I reach in and grab a green bean bag, I have to explain one thing that makes me angry to my partner. And in turn, they do the same thing. Then we go and we go back to doing our AMRAP, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And then on a 30 seconds off, instead of just resting, we can rest and continue to share our feelings. Another thing that is great for all dimensions of wellness is my social emotional learning escape room. I made this room, it's on my Teachers Pay Teachers site, and it has tons of different games um, to deal with all the dimensions of wellness. So feel free to explore that. In intellectual wellness, I made a Sudoku and fitness game, and you can find this, I'll show you in a second, on my Teachers Pay Teachers site. But what I did was I made an easy Sudoku. And then what I did is on the walls of the gym, I hung these posters. So here's the answer key on the right-hand side. Obviously, we don't show the students this, but the students can either work by themselves or work with a partner and try to solve the puzzle. And as they, as they find and solve the puzzle, they have to do the exercise that corresponds with the ball. So if you're familiar with Sudoku, you'll understand how to play this. And I made, let me click on this, for my Teachers Pay Teachers site, there's about 70 of them, all varying uh, different um, complexities from easy to medium to hard. And all the exercise poses are also attached to it. If you need, or if not, you could just make your own, your choice. Those games deal with social wellness, but also, if you can see, correspond or crossover into the physical wellness, emotional wellness, and also the intellectual. Another great game for intellectual wellness is my Muscle Mania. I'll click on that and show you. This is a great game, uh, interactive game, that teaches the students the muscles of their body all while working out and being social with others. For spiritual wellness, I found this cool handout online and I turned it into a game. This activity helps the students identify their values in a fun and engaging way. And it's important to get our students to think about the things that they value the most. So in this game, the students will pick a treasure chest and it will be a value. And the students will decide on a scale of one through three how important that value is to them. One being not as important and three being very important. And then the students will do the activity that goes with the number that they chose. So I'll take, take a look. Uh, let's say students pick box number four. We'll open it up and then I'll ask the students, okay, is being popular important to them? And on a scale of one through three, the students will decide. And then I'll click on this on the image and then the students will have to do the exercise. If they pick one being least important, they'll do the round the world for basketball uh, ball handling. Two uh, being, you know, middle of the road important, they'll have to do a cone dribble. And three, most important, they'll do the figure eight. And then you go back to the boxes, and then you can pick again. Say I pick box number five, students will have to decide the value of having a lot of money and if it's important to them. But it's a fun way to get the students engaged, physically active, social, and thinking about the things that are most important to them. And last on the spiritual wellness is a simple jog and talk. Pose a question to the students, and as they're jogging around the track with a partner, let them discuss it. In this example, I use Simone Biles and what the students would do in her situation. So I hope you enjoyed this Toy Talk Tuesday and I hope it got your creative juices flowing and showed you different ways to add different dimensions of wellness into your health and physical education classes.